Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today, we're going to be looking at the definition of a dividend. A dividend is a distribution of a portion of a company's earnings, which is decided by the company's board of directors to a class of its shareholders, preferred, common, etc. Uh, dividends can be paid out monthly, quarterly, annually, or in any other way the board of directors sees fit. Dividends may also be paid in cash, stock, or property. A dividend is most often quoted in terms of the dollar amount each share receives, referred to as dividend per share. It can also be quoted in terms of the percent of the current market price, referred to as a dividend yield. Typically, growth companies will not offer dividends because all of their profits are reinvested to help sustain the high growth rate. For this reason, the larger, more established companies with low growth tend to pay higher dividends to try and make up for the lack of uh, growth potential. Uh, dividends go in and out of favor. Um, back before the Great uh, Depression hit, uh, and we had a big, great big sell-off back then, uh, investors were kind of out of favor with dividends. They didn't really care about it. Then all of a sudden, the Great Depression hit, and people started caring about them a lot more. Uh, and that's just something that, that kind of cycles in and out of the market. In essence, when management pays out a dividend to shareholders, they are, in effect, telling shareholders they cannot generate an above average rate of return on the portion of the earnings that they're giving back. If a company is paying out 100% of its earnings to shareholders in the form of a dividend, shareholders should recognize the company sees the market as being saturated and they do not see any growth prospects for the company uh, at, you know, in the, sh in the near term. Uh, this should cause investors to question why they even own the company stock to begin with, really. Uh, dividends can be suspended by management at any time shareholders own uh, or shareholders who own preferred shares are the first to receive dividends and the last to have their dividends cut. In most cases, cutting the dividend on a preferred uh, shares creates a debt for the company. And the company will have to pay back all outstanding dividends to preferred shareholders before paying any dividends to shareholders of common stock. Now let's look at a couple of different examples of growth companies versus non-growth. Okay, here we are now on the Yahoo Finance page, and we're looking at Centerpoint Energy, ticker symbol C and P. This is a utility, and it is not a high-growth company, it's typically very stable, uh, widow and orphan kind of stock. And you can see that it's paying a dividend of 4.3%. That's pretty substantial, and that's like we were talking about earlier, where it's just uh, kind of making up for the fact that it's not a big growth company. Here we have the uh, page on Google uh, Incorporated, ticker symbol is G-O-O-G. You can see, uh, and you probably know, that Google is, in fact, a high-growth company, and their dividend yield is zilch, zero, nada. Uh, they're taking all of their earnings per share and reinvesting back into the company to continue that, that uh, monster growth. Now, at some point, Google will um, uh, peak, or at least management will think that they have peaked, and they will begin, at that point, to start paying out a dividend. Uh, we've seen that happen with uh, several different companies, but uh, Microsoft is a good example. Let's look at that right quick. For a long time, Microsoft did not uh, pay a dividend as they were pursuing their growth opportunities. But now you can see that they are, in fact, paying a dividend of 2.6%. Okay? If you've not been to our free website at perfectstockalert.com, it's right there. It's 100% free, and all we ask in return, please refer a friend. God bless, take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit, loss, or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.